Hi everybody, this is Robbie here from the Web Shack. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, um, work with the, the blog tab under theme settings. Okay, so what I'm going to do is under blog, um, over here, this is, let me just start from the top and then I can show you some examples. So let me just go to the blog here. This is just the general blog on here. You can see it's just a demo. Um, if I go here, this is now the layout. At the moment, it's sitting on two columns right. So that means, you know, there's two columns and then I've got the the um the right side of it. So over here we've got categories and so on. Okay, so um these we call widget areas. Okay, so I'm gonna in another tutorial I'm gonna show you how to add widgets to here. But now basically we've added uh, items. We're basically widgets or items. Um uh, we've added categories, recent posts, and you can add more. Um, and it is quite nice for a blog. And then if you want you could have the the, the column on the left, or you could have just um, no column at all, okay? So um, you can choose between those. Over here we have the blog sidebar size, at the moment sitting on medium, um, which is that, uh, so you can make it smaller or larger. Over here we got the blog design. Okay, so this is now it's on default, so these are all different ways this blog, when you click on blog, would look. Okay, so at the moment it's sitting on just default or default alternative you could use. You could play around with these. So let me just show you another one. So if I go to masonry grid, okay, so just remember some of these some of these templates for the, the look of the blog um, sometimes can't have a sidebar. So, so it'll just kick it off. Okay, so for example, let me just try a masonry grid. Let me save it. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, before I go and show you that page, actually, let me just refresh that page, um, like that, okay, so now, I'm ref that page is refreshing, okay, so over here, if I have, this is how many blogs I want to show um, in a row, okay, so I'll show you now, if I go to Masonry Grid, it's on three, then I go back here, you can see I've got three in a row, okay, so this is the Masonry Grid, so basically the sidebar has disappeared, but if you like this, this is another way of you could show it, how you could show your blog. Okay, and you can play around with these, you know. Um, I'm going to go to default alternative because I like having the sidebar. Um, so I'll leave it like that. And then um, if I go down a bit, post excerpt. So basically what that means is over here, this over here is the excerpt. So this is basically just a brief introduction um, just a little bit of the, the start of your article or blog that you've written and just to give someone an idea of what they're reading or going to read about before they click read more. Okay, so or you can have full content. So that's basically your whole blog. So I wouldn't really advise doing that because you want the whole blog showing, but basically choose them. So if you choose excerpt, you can have here yeah, how many words do you want to show up. Okay, at the moment sitting on 35, uh, which is not bad. You could have 35 or maybe you could take it down a bit to let's say, you know, 25. Okay, so that's how many words it shows before you, someone says read more. Okay, this is a single post. So now this is my blog page. So when I click on when I click on a post, so let's say I go read more here. I want to read that, okay? This is the settings for once I've clicked on the the, the single post. Okay, so um, the, let me, let's go through this quickly. So single post design, um, how do I want it? Do I want the image at the top? Let me just go in there quickly. Do I want the image at the top to be the default, which it is, or do you want it big, large, okay? So this is basically, we call this, a, we're going to show you in another video of how to add a blog post and how to add these images, but basically this is just the featured image and this is the size, okay, um, that we've set here. Share buttons, so if I scroll to the bottom of the page, do I want people to be able to uh, share my post, okay, which is quite nice, so you can either have it on or off. Post navigate. Oh, sorry. Um, to to set up more social media items, that's in another video over here. Social profiles. We'll get to that. This is just saying whether you wanted the share buttons on or off. Okay. Post navigation. This is basically whether you want it on or off. Over at the bottom here, you can have previous or next post. So whether you want that on or off. So that's will go to the next post or the previous post, which is cool. Um, so that's that. Author bio. Okay. So if I go here, this is basically the author bio. Um, in another tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, of, you know, putting, creating your bio, having your, you know, making this all nice. At the moment, it's not looking really nice, but you can have a little Fabicon here. Oh, no, sorry, not Fabicon, like a, 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 a emoji of your face or like a picture of your face. Um, you can do a whole lot of things. You can have the title of the person who wrote the blog and so on. Okay, so that's that, whether you want it on or off. Related posts. So at the bottom, 
at the moment it's not, it's, it's not on here, but at the bottom you would have um, would you uh, all the all the related posts to this? Do you want to go to it and click on it? Um, you know, just related posts based on this uh, blog post. Okay, so whether you want that on or off. Okay, and then save options. Okay, and then uh, let me go back there. Okay, that's it. That's basically um, how you work with the with the blog tab. Um, in the next next video, we're going to go through portfolios. Okay, thanks very much.